defeating Metro Lynx come to town. Or the Badger, a good second place Metro Lynx behind Rock County come to town. And uh, should be a good one here. Good test for the Golden Beavers. Metro Lynx uh, come in at 6-1 and one in the Badger Conference behind Rock County, who's a perfect 8-0. Cap City sits at four and three, and here's Beaver Dam at three and three. Beaver Dam High School Hockey brought to you also in part by our good friends at McKinstry's Home Furnishings, Kladowski Real Estate, Slumberland, Silica for your home, Summit Ford, Beaver Dam Mayville Tire and Service, Surefire, Richards Insurance, Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, the Park Village Shopping Center, Preferred Dental Partners, Jerry's Automotive, Air Care, Napleton Chevy Buick GMC, and White Construction. Uh, this is the second meeting between these two teams as uh, they played earlier this year back on December 8th on the Metrolink's home ice, and they came up with a 2-0 victory over Beaver Dam. We are still a few minutes away from the opening faceoff. The pregame show will continue. This is Beaver Dam High School Hockey presented by Columbus Family Dental. Hometown Glass and Improvement and the Beaver Dam Unified School District on Daily Dodge TV. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623-5559. Cheer! Now, cheer louder! Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. Are you ready for peace of mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of Aircare and Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our Total Care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. Aircare's Total Care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. Aircare, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. The teams at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their Spirit Pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. Visit Jerry's Automotive Center WI.com and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. Is selling your home like a walk in the park? If you are in Central Park at 2 a.m., maybe. Chris Kladowski, Kladowski Real Estate. When it is time to sell, be it due to loss or love, growth or downsizing, staying near or going far, there are three basic steps. List it, sell it, move on. The steps are made simple by working with a trusted real estate advisor. Our family team is with you every step of the way, making those three steps as smooth and fun as possible. Kladowski Real Estate. We look forward to serving you. Hi, this is Sandy from McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam. We are proud to support all Beaver Dam athletes. While at home watching high school sports, why not be comfortable? McKinstry's is a Lazy Boy comfort studio. We have sofas, recliners, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Stop into McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam and add comfort to your home.
When it comes to a winning lineup, turn to the selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam. Their team goes the extra mile to provide a winning experience from hassle-free financing options to exceptional customer service. It's like having a dedicated cheering section cheering you on in every step of the vehicle purchase. Give the team at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam a call at 920-885-3301 or visit napleton151.com and find new roads with their winning inventory. You're watching the Daily Dodge pregame show. The pregame show continues here on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Columbus Family Dental, Hometown Glass and Improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. We were talking about the Badger Conference standings uh, earlier, and uh, it's kind of bunched up at the top. You mentioned Rock County right there is uh, leading the way with an 8 and 0 record, and uh, they lead the way. Metro Lynx are six and one cap city four and three beaver dam sits at three and three badger lightning at two and four the icebergs at two and six and viroqua still looking for their first win in the league at uh oh and eight so uh this is kind of a big one when it comes to the standings appreciate the beaver dam unified school district for being a part of the broadcast here today the beaver dam unified school district would like to thank the parents and families for their active engagement in education of their children bd usd staff are working hard to make the best of each and every opportunity they have to serve your children your partnership in that effort is critical to student success the bd fam is better together we have two broadcasts tonight on daily dodge tv and 1430 espn beaver dam uh, this is a Daily Dodge TV exclusive while the Beaver Dam girls basketball team up at Nina tonight, a huge non-conference game. Mike Tronson and the Ninja have that one. That's also on Daily Dodge TV and ESPN Beaver Dam. Nina features Ali Zabel, who's going to UConn. And uh, the girls are going to be tested after a 30-point win last night over Reedsburg. So you can watch that one, listen to that one, do what you got to do uh, to make sure you stay up to date with both broadcasts. And we know Ryan Gerber is down at Oregon, the athletic director at Beaver Dam High School. Beaver Dam boys have a huge matchup with Oregon on the hockey rink today as well. So we are just a couple minutes away from the starting lineups and the opening faceoff. It's Beaver Dam and the Metro Lynx on Daily Dodge TV. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Nightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Nightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. At Preferred Dental Partners, our core values are more than just something we put on our wall. There's something we live out. Core value number two is the wow experience. This means that from the moment you walk in the door until the time you leave, we want to provide an experience for our patients that is unlike anything you've had before. There are lots of choices of dentists, and we never want anyone to feel they have to be here. We want them to choose to be here because they feel heard, welcomed, and well cared for. If you want to see what the wow experience is about, call or text Preferred Dental Partners today. At Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam, we are a second generation family owned business that has been in the Beaver Dam community for over 25 years. Our goal is to make the process of buying a vehicle fun again. No pressure, no hassle, just quality customer service from our friendly and experienced sales staff. So give us an opportunity the next time you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle. The worst that can happen is we shake hands and part as friends, and if you catch us on the right day, you can enjoy one of Mom's amazing homemade cookies. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Beaver Dam. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, our digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our silica price in real time. These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop silica for your home for the best sales, service, and selection. American drivers overpay an average of $368 per year on their auto insurance. Why? Because, well, insurance is hard. It's complicated. 
It's time consuming to get quotes from multiple companies, so we overpay. Or we call Richards Insurance in Beaver Dam. Make one call and receive a quote from a great company like Auto Owners Insurance. The team at Richards Insurance will literally do all the work for you. So if you could be saving money each month with an auto owner's insurance policy, you'll know about it. How much will you save with Richards Insurance? To find out, call Richards Insurance or stop in at 123 North Spring Street, downtown Beaver Dam. With offices in Columbus, Watertown, West Bend, and Oshkosh. With over 50 employees and hundreds of years insurance experience across five offices, you'll get full service counseling with no obligation. Your auto owner's insurance carrier is Richards Insurance in Beaver Dam. Call 887-1615. We'll be there with you. Richards Insurance of Beaver Dam. Hey, it's Stacy with Slumberland, Beaver Dam in Watertown. Stop in and see everything that our store has to offer. We built it just for you. We have mattresses, box springs, power bases, bedroom sets, furniture, living room sets, dining sets, everything that you would need to complete your entire home. We've got our interest refinancing and a really great local staff here to help you. So you've got all local people here to help you out from start to finish for anything that you would need. So stop in, shop local, and save big with us. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. We are committed to serving the customers in our community, to bringing you into our dealership and making the buying process easy, fun, stress-free, and memorable. Thank you for choosing us and voting us Dodge County's best place to buy a new or used vehicle. Stop in today for a test drive and to see how we can help you find the car of your dreams. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. And welcome back to the Family Center Ice Arena here. I am Wade Bates along with Charlie Dern as we have Beaver Dam High School Girls Hockey on Daily Dodge TV presented by Columbus Family Dental, Hometown Glass and Improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here today. Always great to get a look. The Beaver Dam Girls Hockey Team has been playing some good hockey uh, over the last uh, few weeks here as uh, head coach Mike Pogorelic has uh, got them playing well. They won four out of five since December 16th, knocking off Viroqua four to one, Cap City three to two, right here at the Family Center. Dropped a tough one to the Icebergs, where they, they put 54 shots on goal down in Stoughton and couldn't, couldn't crack the code of their goalie down there and lost one nothing, a hard luck loss. Then came back last weekend going up north and uh, beat Medford and Northland Pines five nothing and five to two, respectively. So, uh, should be a good one here today as we await the arrival of the Metro Lynx and the Golden Beavers for Beaver Dam this season. They are led in scoring with, by Emerson Damon with uh, 10 points. Uh, that's four, six goals and four assists, seven goals for Lillian Mansueto and an assist for eight points. As for the Metro Lynx, Emma Stebbins has 32 points, 24 goals and eight assists. 17 points for Paige Bryan. As well, so that's where we sit. And here come the Metro Lynx. Metro Lynx have had an active schedule of 17 games already. And we're going to send it down to Big Jer for the uh, starting lineups. And now for tonight's starting lineups. First for the Metro Lynx. Starting in goal, number one, Addie Bozell. At defense, number seven, Mary Nagel. At defense, number 14, Rowan Severson. At a wing, number two, Emma Stebbids. At a wing, number 23, Paige Byrne. And at center, number three, Sophie Wild. Followed by the rest of the Lynx. The Lynx are coached by Katherine Anderson. And time now for your Beaver Dam Golden Beavers. <coughs> Starting in goal, a junior, number one, Emily Smeenema. 
At defense, a sophomore, number 18, Audrey Lont. Also at defense, a freshman, number five, Addie Milray. At a wing, a junior, number seven, Addie Damon. At the other wing, a freshman, number eight, Lillian Mansueto. And at center, a freshman, number 10, Emerson Damon. Beaver Dam is coached by Mike Pogarella and assisted by Katie Nell. And we now ask that you all stand, remove your hats, and place your hand over your heart for the singing of our national anthem by the Lincoln and Washington Elementary School choirs. And we are set for hockey again. The uh, Washington and Lincoln Elementary School choirs doing a great job here today. Appreciate you being on board. If you are watching the broadcast, got an email for you. DD Sports at goodkarmabrands.com. That's DD Sports at goodkarmabrands.com. Appreciate you being on board. Charlie Dern has worked the marathon shift for me today as well. He was in the office before 5 or probably before 6. What time did your alarm go off today, Dern? 4 o'clock. I got up about 4.10, so you beat me today. Did you stay up and watch the football last night or did you tap out? I kind of tapped out not toward, I probably watched it till about end of the midway through the third quarter. And Saturday night, the Packers and the 49ers on 95.3 WBEV. All the other playoff games will be on 1430 ESPN Beaver Dam. All right. Got to turn the lights on here now, get this thing to roll up, and we are going to be good for hockey. Always warning to put the sunglasses on with the LED lighting system they have here. You can see the Beavers in their white sweaters with the black breezers, the Metro Lynx, black and red. DD Sports at goodkarmabrands.com. And we are ready for hockey on Daily Dodge TV. We are underway here today for the Golden Beavers, playing with, I mentioned, a lot of confidence right now, having won four of five. We're gonna dump it back down, Addie Damon. Gonna be controlled over there, Mary Nagel. Nagel gonna feed it back over to the near side, Paige Bryan. Again, she's one of the players to look out for, for this Metro Lynx squad. And Suedo. Left it back behind the net, going to be knocked around by Mary Nagel. Going to work through the traffic. Stebbins will dump it in. And that's going to get controlled over there by Lant. Just underway here. Going to have boys hockey on Thursday night here at the Family Center.
Mike Tronson will have that one as they take on Monona Grove. Ryan Gerber is over at Oregon, as you mentioned. We're getting updates from the boys here today as well, along with the basketball. See, right side, Elmer into the zone. Going to place it back over to Dalabru. Weaver's got to knock it out of the zone. Here's Della Baker. Izzy Goldschmidt controls. He's a senior. He's dumped back into the zone by Scout Elmer, and uh, Metrolink's got to make a change here two minutes in. In net for the Metrolink. Addie Bazell, 897 minutes long, got a 9 and 8 record. 457 shots on goal, 411 saves, 46 goals against 2.61 goals against average, 89.9 save percentage for shutouts. Emily Smiedema, 566 minutes, 5 and 6 record, 320 shots on goal. 297 saves, 23 goals against 2.07, 92.8 save percentage, a couple of shutouts. For the Beavers, that's Addie Milray. Trying to work it in the corner. I get popped out of there on the near side. Controlled by Allie Stanel. Stanel races out to the far side. Beavers giving Chase Center all that got on Bazell. And here come the Metro Lynx. Right side, Grzynski. We poked out of there by the Beavers' Addy Hookstra. That'll get sent through, and uh, that will come back the other way. The icing with 13. Oh, they waved it off. Beavers, right side. Mansueto. Shot on Bazell. Gonna be poked out of there by Davis. Make that Gregoire. Wild. Cross the blue line a little too soon. The Metro Lynx were off sides. Beaverdam High School Hockey presented by Columbus Family Dental, hometown glass and improvement, and the Beaverdam Unified School District. Going to slide all the way around. Poked out of there by Lant in the corner. Joining the fray is Emerson Damon. Picked out of there by Paige Bryan. Bryan going to feed it back up to the blue line. And that's going to slide over the blue line. Greenhall is going to have to reload. She'll just dump. And a chase. Addie Milray back over to the near side. Tried to slide one through. Into the slot, left side, the shot knocked away by Smiedema of Stebbid's stick. Metrolink trying to get something going. Smiedema, another save as that one got ripped by Paige Bryan. Metrolinks want to make a change and zone will get cleared. Down to the near side corner, it's Lake. Riddle Lake, trying to slide a pass through, and that got touched up by Mansueto, and then slid right through Nagel. The 12:25 left here in the period. Mary Nagel feeds the near side. Dalabru, Elmer on the right side. Elmer going to feed it back up. Right side in the circle, ripped again by Stebbins. Deflected back into the corner with 12 minutes left here in the first period. Here's D trying to clear the zone right there. Dalabru. Again, DD Sports. That's two D's. Sports at Good Karma Brands. G U D K A R M A Brands with an S.com. Bazell's going to 
Knock that to the near side. Rowan Severson. Dalabro will fire it down the ice as both teams want to make a change and will head back the other way. Gonna work to the right side of Vizell. Gonna slide out of the zone. Milray giving chase along with Brian. And Addie Milray went down hard and uh, we're gonna get a penalty and the Beaver is gonna be on the power play. I'm going to call Paige Bryan if I can read lifts. Gets two minutes for the check. And we'll see the Golden Beavers on the power play with 11-12 left in the period. Off to face off. That'll clear the zone. Here comes Stebbins. Stebbins in front of the pack. Shot saved by Smeedema. Stebbins on the breakaway. Emily Smeedema has made four saves here early. We were trying to find some offense here today. Paige Bryan, two minutes for body check. Simon Penalty, 548. Bryan, two minutes for body check at 548. 129 left in the power play. Ten forty-one left in the first period. The McKinstry's power play. In the McKinstry's penalty box. It's gonna get knocked out. The penalty, I saw Sandy from McKinstry's as the Beavers turn it over. Stebbins again, shot, saved by Smeeto with a rebound and a goal. Emma Stebbins gives the Metro Lynx the lead shorthanded. Saw so Sandy from McKinstry's today around town. And uh, first visitor to the McKinstry's penalty box, Paige Bryan. Didn't matter for the Metro Lynx. Number two, Emma Stebbins, unassisted. Time of the goal, 6.32. Stebbins, unassisted. Shorthanded at 6.32. Thank you very much, Jerry. 56 seconds left in the power play. Gonna work it back over to the far side. Beavers turn it over again, a right side. That's going to get ripped wide of the post. 30 seconds left in the power play. Wilder trying to get it out of there, and here come the Beavers. Emerson Damon with a head of steam. Here comes Emmer. Emmer right side. Damon shot saved by Bazell. 14 seconds left. That's going to get sent down on Smeedema by Wild. Controlled by Hookstra. Hookstra tries to feed it up to Kylie Hackbarth. Out of McKinstry's home furnishing penalty box, skates uh, Paige Bryan. Well, the power play is over. It's going to get sent in, deflected, and a goal! Allie Stanel! Deflected it, and it snuck by Bazell. Under the crossbar, and it's 1 1 with nine minutes left. First period. You 
You saw that thing deflected up over the top. So just like that, it's 1-1. One, one. Allie Stano, assist to number 13, Meredith Modine, and number 19, Addie Hookstra. Time of the goal, eight minutes. Stano for Modine and Hookstra at nine, at eight minutes. Thank you very much, Jerry. Smidema made another great save as we were listening to Jerry with the goal information. Appreciate McKinstry's home furnishings for being a part of the broadcast here today. Off the faceoff, Stebbins lets it fly again. Paige Bryan. Here's Damon, Emerson Damon. Emmer gonna work through and she'll flip it out of the zone right over Nagel and she'll give chase. 8-14 left in the period. Beaver Dam's been outshot nine to three but it's 1-1 on the score sheet. Rally Stanel, her first goal of the season, her fourth point. Brian in the corner. Get fed out, Stanel will deflect it and give chase, also giving chase Severson. 7.41 left in the first period. There's Stanel again. Kylie Hackbarth. Here's Damon back to the near side. That popped out of the zone. Hookstra on the near side. Send it back over to the far side there, Kara Sanders. Here's Damon, Damon in Mansueto. The Mansueto shot and a goal! It's 2-1 Golden Beavers! Nice feed by Emerson Damon and Mansueto knocked it in for her eighth goal of the season. by number eight, Lillian Mansueto. Assist number 10, Emerson Damon, and number 19, Addie Hookstra. Time of this goal, 10.06. Mansueto from Damon and Hookstra at 10.06. Look at that, 2-1 Golden Beavers. Gonna move the face off to just outside the Metro Link zone here with 637 left. Addie Damon. Oh, poked out of there by Sweeney. Beaver's gonna dump it down. Wrapped around by Willa Leniker. Two one Golden Beavers. They've got four shots on goal, but two of them have found the back of the net. Della Baker sends it back behind the cage. It's going to roll out of the zone. Maddie Justman. Gonna 
We'll work it back to the near side. Mansueto tried to slice one to Emerson Damon. Mansueto got to the red line. Here come the Metro Lynx. There's a shot. Smedema going to glove it and secure it. Did it slide through? And I think it rolled through. And it's 2 2. Sophie Wild. I run out of paper on my score sheet already here in this first period. Two, two. Addie Damon. Damon shot and a goal, <laughs> and it's 3-2. Big Jerry's gonna have to talk for the whole period to catch us up on everything that's happened on the official stat sheet. Eddie Bazell shot, so five shots so far. And uh, three of them have found the back of the net. Paige Bryan. Oh, scored by number three, Sophie Wild. Assist to number two, Emma Stebbid. And number four, Kate Sweeney. Time of the goal, 11.34. Wild from Stebbid and Sweeney at 11.34. B! Dam goal scored by number seven, Eddie Damon, unassisted. Time the goal 1144. Damon unassisted at 1144. Thanks, Jerry. 453 left in this period. Five goals already. Nice job by Hookstra. Clear the zone. Metro Link's going to reload and move it over to the far side. Severson going to wrap it around to the corner. Smeedham and Octa went away. Shot over on the far side by Severson. Here's Metro Lynx working through a double team wild. And they'll work it out. Gregoire. Under four minutes left here in the first. Loose in front of Smeedema and still battling the right side. That shot slipped off the toe of the stick off Severson. effort over there. Still loose on the right side. Looks like Emily Smeedema was able to smother that one with her skate on the far side. 3.35 left. Here in this first period, 3-2, Golden Beavers. High school hockey presented by Columbus Family Dental, hometown glass and improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Samita Manox, another one away. Control back behind the cage. Gonna work it back up top. Samita will squeeze another one between her glove and her sweater with 3.16 left. Work to the right side. There's Lant. Lant digging hard over there in the corner along with Emerson Damon. Rid of Lake in there for 
Metro Lynx as well. Beaver's gonna clear the zone. 2.53 left. Appreciate you coming on board here tonight. On Daily Dodge TV. Work to the right side of Emily Smeedemo who's made 12 saves here today. Have to say hello to Uncle Bill watching in Randolph today. And Uncle Bill's a big fan of Charlie Dern, who's on camera. Sweeney, they're going to send Smeedema, knocks it away. Off the shot from Goldschmidt, there was a rebound opportunity. But the Metro Lynx. Couldn't convert. Goldschmidt again had that thing kicked away. Beavers have a chance right here. Sliding through on the left side. Here's Cameron Albert. She got taken down. As they work it in the near side, going to be dumped out of there by Hackbarth. With two minutes left in the first period, 3-2 Beaver Dam. Another turnover. Here's Emerson Damon. Damon going to work through. Emerson, oh, look for Mansueto in the slot, left it just behind. So another golden opportunity for Beaver Dam. Here's Damon. Going to leave it, leave it for Mansueto. Oh, left it behind Damon again with 138 left in the period. That's yeah, going to be a fun tandem to watch over the next three years. Mansueto. And I'll flip it back to the right side. Here's Addy Damon. Stebbins. 108 left in the period. Mary Nagel. 60 seconds left in the first period. Stanel got it going for Beavers here with the first goal. Lant. Loose in the slot. Lock winds with 20 seconds left. Shot got deflected a couple of times off the stick of Lake to the near side corner with 14 ticks left here in the period. Get bounced over the top with three seconds left. That blocked again and that'll get hammered out of there and that's gonna end the first period. A lot of fireworks here in the first 17 minutes. Beaver Dam leads the Metro Lynx Three to two, Beaver Dam High School Hockey is presented by Columbus Family Dental, hometown glass and improvement to the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Are Division you ready for peace of up. mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of Air Care and Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our total care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. Air Care's total care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. Air Care, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. Cheer! Now, cheer louder! Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com.
Hi, this is Sandy from McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam. We are proud to support all Beaver Dam athletes. While at home watching high school sports, why not be comfortable? McKinstry's is a Lazy Boy comfort studio. We have sofas, recliners, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Stop into McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam and add comfort to your home. The teams at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623-5559. And uh, welcome back to the Family Center Ice Arena here. Exciting first period. Beaver Dam and the Metro Lynx. Uh, Daily Dodge TV presented by Columbus Family Dental, hometown glass and improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. And I'm real excited to bring in here on the intermission Melissa Gearing, formerly of Beaver Dam High School, now at the yeah. WIAA. Yeah, and you know, walking back in here, it certainly feels like I haven't been gone that long. I love it. Now, What's, what have you been up to? It's been a pretty good year in the WIA, hasn't it? As we, we're in the right smack dab in the middle, or are we past the middle, do you think, of the winter sports season? I feel like we're getting past because we're doing so much preparation up in the office for those state tournaments. But I guess officially, calendar-wise, we're in the middle, I guess. Which is the first of the winter sports uh, that, that the WIAA sponsors? Which is the first tournament? Do you know that we... Individual wrestling would yeah, be. So that's in a couple weeks, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yep, it's in February, so it's coming up quick. So I was going to ask you, obviously, you've played a big role in you know Beaver Dam hockey uh, in the years of your, your time here in Beaver Dam trying to uh, you know get this program jump-started and everything. It's got to be fun to see this team out here playing. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, first of all, I was just talking to Opie down there, and it, even just a reminder about the lights and how beautiful that is, and the community put that together. You know, just got a reminder of that. And then watching the girls play, it, it is spectacular. There has been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put in the program here, and it is paying off. It's been awesome to see. You know, obviously the Metro Lynx is one of those programs that you talk about that, you know, you, you mentioned girls hockey in the state of Wisconsin. They're, they're one of the names that comes up, aren't they? Absolutely. I actually – I. You know, there's so many co-ops with all those different names, but I knew them. Yeah. I knew them coming in. Exactly. Yep. Um, so when it comes to p participation in the WIA this season, obviously there's a, there's a lot of student athletes, both boys and girls, participating across the board in winter sports, right? Yeah, absolutely. There are so many athletes in all the different sports. And then when you add up, you know, just all the other different activities that people have, and then you add people that are just helping stats-wise, doing stuff like this with the live streaming, uh, high school sports, education-based sports is really – an awesome investment for school districts to make. Now, now for yourself if people aren't familiar can you kind of explain what your role with the WIAA is if there's people in Beaver Dam watching now maybe that that new year's athletic director <laughs> here for many many years. My official title is assistant director and there's a couple of us up there so um, we each get certain sports per season. I have volleyball, gymnastics and then track and field. I love watching the Beaver Dam athletes and all of them but mm -hmm. I love watching the Beaver Dam athletes when they make it to those state tournaments. And then I also do conference realignment and anything related to conferences as well. Sure. So we, I, we can probably talk for two hours on conference I, realignment. Yeah. Right when I said it, I was like, uh-oh, I brought no, it up. No, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll spare you that because I know obviously Beaver Dam, the main thing for Beaver Dam that it affects is football next year. They're moving to the East Central. Yep, that's you know, true. So they got a new bunch of people that they're going to gonna go with and some pretty good football programs there. But that's always a touch, That's always one of those, not a touchy subject, but it's always one of those things where everybody's got an opinion on it, right? Absolutely, especially for football, actually. And it's not because football is any more important or anything, but with football, it's the one sport where your coverage standings matter for mm -hmm. your postseason play. And so that brings out more emotion with football than the other sports sure. but obviously the, the goal is to make it make it the best for everybody and in, in, in all the, the schools and to feel like they're they're in a conference where they can be competitive and uh, and uh, and regionally it's, it's good for travel right yeah uh, hopefully geography and enrollment is what we try to base it on and as you know when we're talking sport 
um, you know, we try to make it best for everyone while everyone's trying to win. All so I know, all I know is I'm, I'm going to Port Washington next year. I know there's a place down by the lake that's got a great fish fry. Oh, well, perfect. <laughs> I because know. it's Friday night, too. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I can't wait for that. But uh, so obviously, do you get out and about? Do you travel? I know obviously where you work in the Plover office, but do you get out and about and do you travel? Do you get to a lot of high school events now with, with your new role? I haven't gotten to a lot of high school events as much as obviously I used to. I miss that component of it, but I do travel quite a bit and have seen and talked to a lot of different coaches, athletic directors across the state. Well, Melissa, we appreciate all you've done here at Beaver Dam. We appreciate oh, what you're doing you. at the WIAA, and uh, thanks for stopping up to the broadcast booth here today. <laughs> hey, no problem. This has been awesome here. It's great to be here. We are at the first intermission. Beaver Dam leads the Metro Lynx 3-2 here on Daily Dodge TV, presented by Columbus Family Dental, Hometown Glass and Improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. High school sports hey, are as Stacey American as Beaver apple Dan pie. And, Stop in and, and see going to a game or meet offer. is a chance to see the you. stars of we tomorrow shine today. Springs, but as anybody who's sets, ever attended a high school sporting event in sets, Wisconsin knows, sets, everything that you, would you need can't to have the stars without the stripes. High schools are currently looking for new officials in almost every sport. Who looks good in stripes? Anybody looking for a way to stay connected to a sport they love? If you like the idea of giving back to your community while earning a few extra bucks, chances are you'd look good in stripes too. We want to hear from you. We need to hear from you. No officials means no games. No stripes means no stars. And what kind of America would that be? Wisconsin needs more high school officials. Go to highschoolofficials.com to sign up or learn more. That's highschoolofficials.com. The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. Is selling your home like a walk in the park? If you are in Central Park at 2 a.m., maybe. Chris Kladowski, Kladowski Real Estate. When it is time to sell, be it due to loss or love, growth or downsizing, staying near or going far, there are three basic steps. List it, sell it, move on. The steps are made simple by working with a trusted real estate advisor. Our family team is with you every step of the way, making those three steps as smooth and fun as possible. Kladowski Real Estate. We look forward to serving you. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. We are committed to serving the customers in our community, to bringing you into our dealership and making the buying process easy, fun, stress-free, and memorable. Thank you for choosing us and voting us Dodge County's best place to buy a new or used vehicle. Stop in today for a test drive and to see how we can help you find the car of your dreams. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Knightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Knightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. The teams at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their Spirit Pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. 
visit Jerry's Automotive Center, WI.com, and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. And welcome back to the Family Center Ice Arena. Wade Bates along with Charlie Dern. Really appreciate Melissa Gearing uh, for stopping up for the WIAA. Obviously gave so much to Beaver Dam over the years here and uh, doing a great job up in Plover with uh, the WIAA. Scoring in the first period. Took a deep breath here. The Metro Lynx got on the board first. A shorty at 632 by Emma Stebbins. Uh, that made it one nothing. Metro links, but Beaver Dam came right back at the eight minute mark. What a uh, minute 28 later, Ali Stanel deflected a shot in off the shot by, I believe it was Hookstra. Also getting an assist was Meredith Modine, made it 1 1. Beaver Dam, 10 06. Mansueto on a great pass from Damon, and uh, Hookstra. Made it 2-1 at Golden Beavers. Metro Lynx answered. Sophie Wild. Sophie Wild from Emma Stebbins. And uh, Kate Sweeney at 11.34. But 11.44 off the faceoff. Addie Damon, unassisted, makes it 3-2 Beaver Dam. 14 saves for Emily Smiedema. And two saves for Addie Bazell. And that's where we sit as we get ready for the second period here on Daily Dodge TV. Appreciate Charlie Dern for being a part of the broadcast here today. Waiting the uh, officials. They're here. We got to get the nets back in place. And we have the second 17 minutes. Nice crowd here today for this one tonight. Boys hockey. Trailing Oregon two to one at the first intermission. Big one down there today. Ladies and gentlemen, Ellie Rhodes is in the house. Lana Haney is in the house. Are you guys peewees right now? Are you peewees? Yeah, you're 10 you right now and 12 you. So future Golden Beavers, oh, you'll be on the ice pretty soon, won't you? All right, got a couple years yet. As here come the Metro Lynx. Here come the Golden Beavers. DD Sports at GoodKarmaBrands.com. That's DD Sports at GoodKarmaBrands.com. All right, we are ready for the. Second period, Mark Stefano checked into the broadcast. Just one visit to the McKinstry's Home Furnishings penalty box in that first period, and it turned into a shorthanded goal, actually, for the Metro Lynx. Pretty clean first period. Thanks for coming on board. Oh, Mansueto off the opening faceoff. Here's Emerson Damon. Gonna be fed up. Addie Milray lets it fly, and that goes wide. Beaver's got to get on side here, just underway. Milray trying to feed it up over to Addie Damon and turned it over right side. Smeedema, the kick save off the shot from Paige Bryan. 
Ryan trying to feed it into the slot to Stebbins. Smeedema kicks another one away. Sent around the near side boards. Metro Lynx looking to pull even here. We played 60 seconds here in the second. They're gonna wave off the icing. Mary Nagel gonna skate it down to the right of Bazell. Pop straight up in the air. Della Baker couldn't control. Metro Lynx moving back to our left. Hookstra tried to clear it out from behind Smeedema. Beaver trying to clear it out. That's going to get solid. Deflected, got through traffic, deflected there, I think, by Elmer. Smeedema was still able to track it and kick it away for her 17th save of the evening. Goldschmidt worked through the D. Deflected out of the zone. Beavers nearly got caught with too many skaters on the ice right there. We play on. 14-20 left here in the second period. 3-2 Beaver Dam. Madison Hookstra. Addy. I still can't get out of the zone. Beaver just going to ice the puck. He's going to send Bazell. Oh, that cuts all the way down to the goalie. So the Beavers can finish off a change. Loose right side. There's a shot by Stanel. Goes wide. It got deflected partially halfway there. Hackbarth digging in over there. Metro Lynx. On the move to the near side, Emma Stebbins. Gonna feed it back out of the zone. Got kicked out of the zone, I think, by, by Lant. 13-18. Addie Damon. Here's Goldschmidt. Emerson Damon had it poked away. Gonna get sent all the way down to the other end. With 12.44 left, both teams will make a change. Work to the left side of Bazell. Up top, that got slinged at the net by Hookstra. Beavers got to get on side, and they do. Here come the Metro Lynx. Elmer. 12.25 left in the period. Mansueto trying to bring it around the outside. Damon, here comes Emmer. We got a little two-on-one action. Emerson right side feeds over to Mansueto. Shot and a goal! The two-on-one action, 
deja vu all over again from the first period. It's 4-2 Golden Beavers. Look at that. Beavers getting the offense going here midway through the season. Scored five goals in their two games last weekend. Up top, there's a shot, Smedema. Got the deflection. Beaver Dam goal. Scored by number eight, Lillian Mansueto. Assist to number 10, Emerson Damon. And at number seven, Addie Damon. Time of the goal, 4.59. Mansueto from Damon and Damon at 4.59. Eleven thirty-seven left. Here in the second, it's 4-2 Beaver Dam. Here's Lant. Cameron Albert. Dig it out on the right side, here's Lola Day. Smeedema kicks it away off the stick of Kate Sweeney. it around Smeedemo trying to clear it and she'll just belly down on it and uh, we'll face it off. Beavers have been outshot 21 to 8 but four make it 22 to 8 but four of those eight shots have found the back of the net. Off the draw near side. Brian, that got sent past the far side post. Falling behind, one nothing, Beaver Dam. Come out swinging. Hookstra, oh, she just couldn't connect with uh, Addie Damon and will head back the other way with 10.23 left in the period. Charlie Dern's doing camera with me today. You got Colcon tomorrow? Are you on the air at all tomorrow? Don't know? Oh, you're doing break time today with Ninja? If Ninja can get his car started? Get through on the far side. Here comes Mansueto. Feeds Damon. Emerson trying to beat the D. Damon over the right side into the circle. Emerson, oh, tried to feed. Another one coming through. A shot from the left side. That one got hammered over there by Addie Milray. And what a save by Bazell. With 9.45 left. Here in the second period, Beavers nearly up five to two there. Eddie Bazell made a fantastic save. They'll just send that one out, and that got deflected. Here comes Eddie Damon. Eddie Damon on the mini breakaway. Damon right side shot goes top shelf over the crossbar. Stanel kept it in the zone. Another scoring opportunity for Beaver Dam. Again, in this four out of five stretch, their only loss was a one nothing decision down in Stoughton where they put 54 shots on the Stoughton goalie. 
Elmer. There's a shot and a goal. Elmer in traffic and it's 4-3. The old fashioned shootout tonight. The Beavers have an answers for the Metro Lynx goals a couple of times here today. Metro Lynx goal scored by number six, Scout Elmer. Unassisted, time the goal, 8-11. Elmer, unassisted at 8-11. It'll take me an hour to get through all this scoring at the end of the game. Right side, that got blocked by Sanders. Oh, that got deflected up, shot, and oh, that went just wide of Smedema. Metro Lynx looking to pull even. There's Wild, who's got a goal today with under eight minutes left. That's sent in again. Brian. Davis had her shot blocked. Misplayed by the Beavers. Here's Brian. Here's Stebbins. Feed it up to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt's shot goes wide of the post. Beavers will clear the zone. Metro Lynx want to make a change and they'll fire it to the corner with under seven minutes left. Beaver Dam again gonna shoot one down the other way. DD Sports at GoodKarmaBrands.com. You know where you're at. Off the face off. That slid right by Mansueto. There's a shot by Milray from the blue line, and Bazell will grab it and will face it off with six and a half left. Here in the second period, 4 3 Golden Beavers. And Sueto. Severson will send it around the boards on the far side. Here's Dalabru. Clock continues to wind. Just over six minutes left here in the second period. And we'll get a whistle. Going to work outside the Metro Link zone. I'm Wade Bates, Charlie Dern with us here tonight on Daily Dodge TV. Milray tried to pop it out of there. Giving chase is Hookstra. Hookstra going to work through traffic. Going to try to feed it up, and that got touched up by Hackbarth. 
Race to the puck over there on the far side, Meredith Modine. Beavers keep it in the zone. Sanders sends it back to the near side. Stanel. Feed it back to Sanders. She's going to knock it out of the that trolling zone. Pretty clean game so far, just one penalty. Here's Addie Damon. Damon's going to let it fly, and Bazell sends it to the far side corner. Metro Lynx coming back the other way with 4.49 left here in the second. Here's Mansueto trying to flip one to Damon. That's Addie Damon. Emerson Damon slides through traffic and can't get there. They'll work it back over to Lant. Lant. Stebbins. We'll control back behind the net. Beavers have been outshot 23 to 11 here in this one, but they lead four to three. Davis, send it back around the far side. Here's Sweeney. Saved by Smeedema. Goldschmidt again, sends it to the far side corner. Beavers will clear the zone. Two forty-nine left in the second. Both teams hammer it back and forth from the red line right now as the Metro Lynx want to make a change. They haven't had many whistles here except for goals in this second period. That's loose, and Smeedema just going to cover it up with 2.27 left. Two nineteen left, and we'll do it again. Two nineteen and counting off the face off. Beavers would love to go to the third period up one. Off the side of the cage, Greenhall. Near side, Severson. Severson went down into the corner. Beaver just going to ice the puck. And we'll head back the other way with 1.53 left. Chuck Dern, how are your feet doing? Oh, I wore two pair of socks today and my toes are getting a little cold. I have some bad, I should have wore, I wore my shoes that are I need new shoes. Look at the tread on the bottom of these things. Yeah, I should have worn my boots. 153 left in the second, 4-3, Beaver Dam. Got deflected halfway there. Milray got a stick on that. Deflected it, but just outside the post. Brian off the boards on the near side. Here comes Wild. 135 left in the second. Paige Bryan. Shot up to over the top. Not sure if somebody got a piece of that or not. As that was dangerous. 
in front of the net with 123 left. Mill Ray to the near side. Severson, 110 left in the period. Here's Severson, knocked away by Miedema. Sixty seconds left in the period. Here comes Damon. Damon trying to get it to Damon. It got poked away. Addie Damon. It looks like the. Beavers were off sides. And we'll face it off with 53 seconds left. Sanders, there's Lant, thirty-three seconds left in the period. Stebbins, that work to the outside. And to wrap it around, and Smeetham is going to cover it up with 16.9 ticks left. I think the Metro Lynx bench is going to want about a second put back on the clock, pointed right away. No, they're not going to get it, though. Off the faceoff. Shot goes up over the top of everything by Paige Bryan. Ten seconds left in the period. Smeetham is going to cover another one up with six ticks left. 4-3 Golden Beavers. Guess we got to just win the draw and send it down. Two seconds left, and that's going to wipe away the second period. Beaver Dam and the Metro Lynx exchange goals. We head to the second intermission. Golden Beavers hold a 4-3 lead. This is Beaver Dam High School Girls Hockey on Daily Dodge TV presented by Columbus Family Dental, Hometown Glass and Improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Cheer! Now, cheer louder! Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. When it comes to a winning lineup, turn to the selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam. Their team goes the extra mile to provide a winning experience from hassle-free financing options to exceptional customer service. It's like having a dedicated cheering section cheering you on in every step of the vehicle purchase. Give the team at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam a call at 920-885-3301 or visit napleton151.com and find new roads with their winning inventory. At Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam, we are a second generation family owned business that has been in the Beaver Dam community for over 25 years. Our goal is to make the process of buying a vehicle fun again. No pressure, no hassle, just quality customer service from our friendly and experienced sales staff. So give us an opportunity the next time you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle. The worst that can happen is we shake hands and part as friends. And if you catch us on the right day, you can enjoy one of mom's amazing homemade cookies. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Beaver Dam. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, our digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our silica price in real time. 
These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop Silica for your home for the best sales, service, and selection. The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. The teams at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their Spirit Pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. Visit Jerry's Automotive Center WI.com and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. At Preferred Dental Partners, our core values are more than just something we put on our wall. They're something we live out. Core value number two is the wow experience. This means that from the moment you walk in the door until the time you leave, we want to provide an experience for our patients that is unlike anything you've had before. There are lots of choices of dentists, and we never want anyone to feel they have to be here. We want them to choose to be here because they feel heard, welcomed, and well cared for. If you want to see what the wow experience is about, call or text Preferred Dental Partners today. Hey, it's Stacy with Slumberland, Beaver Dam in Watertown. Stop in and see everything that our store has to offer. We built it just for you. We have mattresses, box springs, power bases, bedroom sets, furniture, living room sets, dining sets, everything that you would need to complete your entire home. We've got our interest-free financing and a really great local staff here to help you. So you've got all local people here to help you out from start to finish for anything that you would need. So stop in, shop local, and save big with us. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Nightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Nightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. Welcome back to the Family Center Ice Arena. 3-2 Beavers led after the first period, and now it sits at 4-3. Golden Beavers, uh, Lillian Mansueto hooked up from Emerson Damon again, second time today, with little help from Addie Damon at 4.59, made it 4-2 in the Metro Lynx. Answer back, though, Scout Elmer beat Emily Smeedema on traffic at 8-11. That's where he sit 4-3. Smeedema's made 23 saves here today while uh, Addy Bazell has stopped seven of the 11 shots that she has seen today. So the Beavers have made the most of their opportunities here today. Looking at other actions tonight, Beaverdam boys hockey leads Oregon 3-2 uh, in their game being played down at Oregon in the second period. That's a huge matchup in the state of Wisconsin right there. Also the Beaverdam girls basketball team is uh, at Nina, and they are getting a late start. They just started, and uh, it's five to three. Early on in that one, looking at uh, the video stream, they have a huge crowd at Nina for that one, which is what you would expect. And uh, you can check that one out as well here today. Mentioning on Thursday night, couple of broadcasts here on Daily Dodge TV, right back here at the Family Center, Monona Grove comes to town for boys hockey. Mike Tronson's gonna have the play-by-play -play on that one. And uh, Corey Sparks gets to go to Fort Atkinson for a radio broadcast as the Beaverdam girls play their third game this week 
are going to be out there for that one as well. And uh, that's where we are at right now with uh, four to three. And then next week we have some of our broadcasts are in flux, so we have some staffing we're moving around. So you can always check the broadcast schedule at dailydodge.com on the sports tab. But uh, there may be some adjustments to next week's schedule. But uh, as Melissa Gearing said between periods, we are heading uh, from the WIAA. Wrestling postseason starts in like two weeks. You know, who'd have thought that? But uh, before you know it, it's going to be March, March Madness. And then maybe we'll get some spring sports in here sooner than later. Well, with the 10 feet of snow on the ground right now, who knows? Uh, appreciate you coming on board. Opie is doing a great job. Uh, I didn't put the timer on him on the Zamboni today, but uh, I can tell you this, the third period is going to be coming up next here on Daily Dodge TV. Are you ready for peace of mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of Air Care and Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our total care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. Air Care's total care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. Air Care, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, our digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our Silica price in real time. These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop Silica for Your Home for the best sales, service, and selection. Hey, it's Stacy with Slumberland, Beaver Dam in Watertown. Stop in and see everything that our store has to offer. We built it just for you. We have mattresses, box springs, power bases, bedroom sets, furniture, living room sets, dining sets, everything that you would need to complete your entire home. We've got our interest refinancing and a really great local staff here to help you. So you've got all local people here to help you out from start to finish for anything that you would need. So stop in, shop local, and save big with us. At Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam, we are a second generation family owned business that has been in the Beaver Dam community for over 25 years. Our goal is to make the process of buying a vehicle fun again. No pressure, no hassle, just quality customer service from our friendly and experienced sales staff. So give us an opportunity the next time you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle. The worst that can happen is we shake hands and part as friends. And if you catch us on the right day, you can enjoy one of Mom's amazing homemade cookies. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam. Cheer! Now, cheer louder! Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. At Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam, we are a second generation family owned business that has been in the Beaver Dam community for over 25 years. Our goal is to make the process of buying a vehicle fun again. No pressure, no hassle, just quality customer service from our friendly and experienced sales staff. So give us an opportunity the next time you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle. The worst that can happen is we shake hands and part as friends. And if you catch us on the right day, you can enjoy one of mom's amazing homemade cookies. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Beaver Dam. At Summit Ford Beaver Dam, we are committed to serving the customers in our community, to bringing you into our dealership and making the buying process easy, fun, stress-free, and memorable. Thank you for choosing us and voting us Dodge County's best place to buy a new or used vehicle. Stop in today for a test drive and to see how we can help you find the car of your dreams. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Nightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Nightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village. 
Is selling your home like a walk in the park? If you were in Central Park at 2 a.m., maybe. Chris Kladowski, Kladowski Real Estate. When it is time to sell, be it due to loss or love, growth or downsizing, staying near or going far, there are three basic steps. List it, sell it, move on. The steps are made simple by working with a trusted real estate advisor. Our family team is with you every step of the way, making those three steps as smooth and fun as possible. Kladowski Real Estate, we look forward to serving you. When it comes to a winning lineup, turn to the selection of new and pre-owned vehicles at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam. Their team goes the extra mile to provide a winning experience from hassle-free financing options to exceptional customer service. It's like having a dedicated cheering section cheering you on in every step of the vehicle purchase. Give the team at Napleton GM in Beaver Dam a call at 920-885-3301 or visit napleton151.com and find new roads with their winning inventory. The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. Welcome back to the Family Center, the uh, final 17 minutes of regulation on the clock. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Wade Bates. Charlie Dern is here as well. Prince Charles uh, working uh, the game tonight. Appreciate his efforts. Long day for him, long day for me. He was the first one in the building today. and Well, you won't be the last because Mike Tronson will probably get back from Nina right now. Looking at early on in that... Um, Beaver Dam Nina girls basketball game. The Golden Beavers lead 11 to nine in uh, in that one. Beaver Dam boys hockey. Do we hear? Are they at four to two? Is that what I had heard? Four to two. Got a huge matchup with Oregon on the boys side. Waiting for the officials to uh, get the nets in place, and then we will get this third period going. Been a fun one here today. Mentioned we have boys hockey on fr on Thursday, and then uh, we also have girls basketball. Looking at the schedule for next week, we'll see girls hockey on Tuesday, a week from tonight, with the Icebergs coming to town. Also, girls basketball at Watertown. Thursday, boys basketball at Fort Atkinson. And Thursday, the Randall Fall River boys basketball as well. And here we go. The Beavers are on the ice. High school hockey presented by Columbus Family Dental. Hometown glass and improvements in the Beaver Dam Unified School District. This one penalty so far today in the McKinstry's Home Furnishings penalty box. It's been pretty bare. Kim Hookstra is the only one sitting over there right now, and I don't know who's in the... I'll have to ask Rachel Damon. Who's in the Beaver Dam penalty box over there? I can't see. Ask Rachel. I'm trying to see who that is. Who's in the Beaver Dam penalty box? Okay. Uh, Kim Hookstra. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't see who that was there with his back turned. Kirk Meredith is working the, he's been lonely today. We've got Big Jer and Tara Ocon on the score and on the, we're just, we're just announcing who's in the, the box today. Big Jer, Kim Hookstra. Kirk Modine. We'll face it off. What is Tara's pretty Tara and Jerry are pretty much in every game everywhere here at the family center. They, they we, we, had a, we can get a shot of everybody down. Shot on Smeet, much she's gonna knock it away and she'll glove it on the rebound from Sophie Wild. 
So I'm gonna get a shot at everybody in the box at some point when we have when we have a a, a break in the action. Off the faceoff, setting it right up the slot, and that's gonna go through everything. Devin's tried to feed a Mary Nagel. 16, 18 left here in the third, 4-3 Beaver Dam. Fell behind on a shorty early and then answered quickly. Oh, here comes Stebbins. Stebbins shot, oh, that goes wide, I think. Smeedema maybe got a piece, as did Lant. And we're coming back the other way, Lillian Mansueto. Mansueto, a backhander, Bazell, and that got through the five hole and a goal! Lily Mansueto, the hat trick, it's 5-3, Golden Beavers. And Suedo made some space. And the Beavers give themselves a little bit of space. Between themselves and the Metro Links. Somebody threw a hat on the ice. So the Beavers up 5-3. Beaver Dam goal, scored by number eight, Billy Mansueto. Unassisted. Time of the goal, 108. Mansueto, unassisted at 108. So Mansueto's got the hat trick. And the Beavers lead with 15.25 left. continues to wind. Hopefully we can hear from head coach Mike Pogorelic after this one. Going to be punched over to the far side circle. The Beavers, you want that 1447 to salt away as fast as you can. Della Baker clears the zone. <laughs> little ice, a little bit wet yet behind the uh, Beaver Dam cage, and Lant had the puck just stop. Right side. Smeedema kicks another one away into the corner on the near far side. Working back behind the net, Severson. Right side, Nagel, that got deflected in front. It's loose and that's gonna get kicked out of there by Milray. Metro Lynx trying to put the screws down here. Here's Severson, that got deflected on the way to the net. Wide. There's Nagel. Smeedem again, knocked one away. Wild skates it down on the far side. Going to send it back to the blue line. Severson. Shoots it at the net. Deflected back behind. Beavers can use nice right here and going to be kept in the zone by Nagel. This time again, sliding it down the ice. Audrey Lant. And Beavers and the Metro Lynx will make a change with 13.23 left. Off the face off. Yeah. 
Scout Elmer, who's got a goal today, tried to leave it in front of the crease. Found it right there. Hookstra knocked it out of there, and the Beavers on the move. Maggie Dog tried to clear the zone. Sanders. There's Della Baker. Got by Dogs. And we'll get an icing with 12.42 left. Keeping an eye on that basketball game. Up top here, Stebbins shot again to save the rebound. It's loose into the slot. Back to the near side. Goldschmidt, Smeedema kicks another one away. Here's Sophie Wild. Back to Stebbins. Damon. Paige Bryan up in front. Oh, the one time a point blank range. Wild just couldn't make contact. She had an open net. And Sueto flips one across the red line. Back to the near side. 11.52 left in regulation. Beavers leading 5 to 3. Brittle Lake. Lake sends it on Smeedema. She denies another one. 29 saves for Smeedema here today. So we get through everybody and uh, we will head back down to our right with 11.27 left in regulation. Work to the right side of Emily Smeedema. Sent into the corner, there's Sanders. It's gonna slide out. Now the, thought the Metro Lynx maybe had to get back on side, but I guess not. There's Sanders. Looks the nice feed on the near side. To Modine and she'll flip it around as the Beavers make a change with 11 minutes left in regulation leading five to three. Mary Nagel with the head of steam just sent it, dump and chased it. Got through Sanders. Work on the left side. Nice stick work there by Stebbins. Shot, Smeedeman knocks another one away. Five goals for the third straight game for Beaver Dam. And hopefully we can hear from Coach Mike Pogorelic after this one. Ten ten left in regulation. And Sueto sends it around to the far side. Here comes Emma Stebbins. Stebbins had it knocked out of there by Hookstra. Paige Bryan, that goes wide of the crease. Wild on the far side. Beavers turn it over. Smeedema says, not in my house. The red wall makes her 32nd save of the night. Beaver 
High School Hockey presented by Columbus Family Dental, Hometown Glass and Improvement, and the Beaver Dam Unified School District. Brew. Smeedema kicked another way. The rebound knocked away again. Nine minutes left. Coming back the other way. Hackbarth was right there. Here's Hookstra. Brittle Lake. Hear the Beaver Dam bench say, just get it out of the zone. Here's Izzy Goldschmidt. Both teams will make a change as the Metro Link dumped it around. Here's Elmer, I should say Sanders. Kara Sanders gonna hammer it out of the zone again with 8.15 and counting. One penalty today, and that was on Beaver Dam early. I should say that was on the Metro Lynx early. Checking penalty, and that's the only visit to the McKinstry's Home Furnishings penalty box all day today. Sweeney, here comes Damon. Emmer on the right side. Emerson Damon skates in, stopped by Brazell. It's still loose. Rapid Roman Mansueto, her shot got blocked, and that got cleared out. Beavers could have maybe put the cherry on top of the Sunday right there. They would have gone up three with seven and a half to go. Here's Emerson Damon. Damon trying to wrap it around. It's loose in the crease. Addie Milray, the shot is blocked, and the Beavers will have to get back onside. 7.19 left. That's going to get all the way by Audrey Lant. Milray wraps it around to the near side. Trying to catch up with Modine. Loose in front. Uh, Smeetum was trying to get down, and will she cover it up? And she will. Sophie Wild had a couple of shots at it with 6.56 left. Gonna work to the right side of Emily Smeedema. Off the face off, they'll send it down the ice and we'll do it again. 6.50 left. Be a program win today if the Golden Beavers can hold on. Right side, Severson. Coming right out of the shoot, Stanel. Far side circle. Modine. They just wanted to dump it and they will. And the Beavers will make a change with 6-17 and counting. Leading 5-3. They've been outshot 38-13, but they've got five goals. Here's Stebbins. She's great stick work. Got pushed to the outside and she'll flip it up high off the glass. Near side, it's Nagel. Nagel trying to feed it into the corner and Stebbins. Nice job by Emmer, Emerson Damon. She's gonna try to clear, get out of the zone. Emerson with the head of steam, tries to split the D. Emerson Damon, right side, had it poked away. Coming back the other way, Severson. 541 left. Here's Severson. Severson shot, Smeedema gloved it. The red wall stands tall.
5.34 left. Milray. Look at Sanders. Nice job by Addy. In the corner, let's scout Elmer. Kicked away to the side. Sanders gonna skate it down over there with 5.05 left in regulation. Milray just gonna dump it out of the zone. Gonna wave off the icing, under five minutes left in regulation. Gonna get sent down and they'll wave off the icing. Lance gotta go get it. Both teams make a change on the near side. Beavers got caught in the change. Right side shot, what a save by Smeedema. Wow. Holy cow. Save number 37 for Emily. And it looks like, who called timeout? The Metro Lynx call a timeout with 434 left. We appreciate the Beaver Dam Unified School District for being a part of the broadcast. The Beaver Dam Unified School District identifies a school of the month during the school year. Shout out to the students, staff, and families of this month's school of the month. Beaver Dam High School, led by Principal Russ Tronson. Great things at Beaver Dam High School. They got finals week this week. The semester's coming to an end. So I'm sure some of these Golden Beaver hockey players are gonna go home and start studying. And there's 434 left, two goal deficit. Beavers have been outshot 40 to 13 here today. Emerson Damon's gonna dive in against Sophie Wild. Here's Stebbins. Smeedema stopped another one, it's loose and Damon's gonna clear it out of there. Here comes Emmer. She got it taken right back. Paige Bryan, 419 left in counting. Stebbins left side. Hookstra gonna just send it down as they pull Bazell. The net's empty with 4.05 left, down two. Well, the Metro Lynx gonna have an extra skater in the Beaver Dam zone. Off the face off, right side, here's the Lant. Trying to clear it out, under four minutes left. Net is empty on the other end. Here's Lake, right side. Beaver's just trying to get it out of the zone. Damon, battle for it on the half boards on the far side. There's Mansueto's gonna flip it up down the ice and we'll head back the other way with 3.31 left. 5-3 Golden Beavers. Boy, that save about three minutes ago by Smeedema. Slot was wide open fully extended her glove and made a Willie Mays style catch for you old schoolers. Right side, Lake shoots it in traffic. Oh, Snack got all the way through and Smeedema deflected it off her stick. 3.20 left. 
He'll get through again, and they'll, Milray's gonna dump it down the ice, and it's gonna be wide, and we'll head it back the other way. Eddie Milray would love to see her first high school goal and empty netter to seal the deal with 3.13 left. Beavers knock it out off the faceoff. Dump it to the near side. Here's Stebbins. Again, net's empty on the other end with under three minutes left. It's gonna get dumped down by Milray again. Gonna be shot from the right side. Stano just missed the open net. Gonna come back the other way. Stebbins, Beavers caught in a chain. Stebbins again is gonna slide through. Stebbins shot and a goal over the left shoulder of Smeedema with two. 41 left. Emma Stebbins, her 26th goal of the season. Can't let her get free in the slot. Gonna beat you nine times out of 10. Two forty left to kill. Metrolink goal scored by number two Emma Stebbins, assist to number fourteen Rowan Severson. Time of the goal fourteen nineteen. Stebbins from Severson at fourteen nineteen. Two twenty left. Five four. That lead is shrunk to one. Right side Damon. Can the Beavers answer? Addie Damon. The shot is blocked. There's a shot again, flipped up over there by Lant. 2.08 left. Here comes Scout Elmer. Lant poked it to the outside. Right side, Delabro. Still loose in front. Right side, there's a shot, oh, wide of the post, but Smeedema still grabs it with 1.52 left in regulation. Mike Pogo wants to get a timeout, maybe. And it looks like he will take a timeout, Coach Pogorelic. I feel like Nostradamus there, Charlie Dern. Settle his D down, give him a little break with 152 left. That's 112 seconds, right? No. 90 plus 52 or 60 plus 52 is what? Is that 112? Look at that. Beaver's got 112 seconds left to burn. Again, Emma Stebbins, Paige Bryan, one of the best one two combos in the state of Wisconsin for the Metro Lynx. Smeedema has made 38 saves here today. Addie Bazell, seen just 15 shots. She's got 10 saves. Face it off to the left of Emily Smeedema. Looks like the, are they gonna leave Bazell out there? Nope, they got an empty net again on the other end. Big face off here, Damon and Wild. Oh, Stebbins shot, oh, kick saved by Smeedema in traffic. Work on the right side. Here's Wild. Leaves it up to Stebbins again. She's going to work her way through. Right side, Addie Damon's going to send it down. That was blocked on the right side. Nice job keeping it in the zone by Severson. Beaver just got to clear the zone with 90 seconds left in this one. Net is empty on the other end. Stebbins again trying to use fancy stick work. Loose in front. Mansueto is able to clear the zone. Clock continues to wind. They'll wave off the icing with 1.15 left. Right, on the right side, it's Britta Lake. Here's Addie Damon. Right side sent down the other way by 
Audrey Lott. Metrolinx wanted a icing there. They didn't get it. 57 seconds left. Beavers trying to hold off the Metrolinx, and they didn't get to that puck. Smiedema has one slide right through the slot, working to the near side, Brita Lake. It's still loose in the crease. Lott's going to send it out of there with 40 seconds left. And with 35.6 seconds left, we'll face it off. Got scared there for a little bit because the Metrolinx beat the Beavers to the puck right behind Smiedema. 35 seconds away. One of the biggest wins in Beaver Dam. Girls hockey, the last decade. Very powerful Metrolinx squad, net is empty. Ellie Stanley's gonna take the face off and it loose on the right side. Up top, work it on the near side. Here comes Lake. Lake shot is deflected. It's loose in front of the net, and Smeedema saves another one with 27 seconds left. Emerson Damon's going to dive in against Sophie Wild. Off to face off, it's loose in the circle. There's a shot up over everything. Right side, clock winds at 20 seconds. Still loose on the near side. Damon had her shot blocked as she tried to clear the uh, clear the zone. Beavers, they could clear the zone now. Might be okay. Right side shot, it's loose. A big save by Smeedema again with eight seconds left. It's loose on the right side. Shot from the corners deflected. It goes back behind the net. Two seconds left, one second left, and the Beavers are gonna pick up a huge victory over the Metro Lynx. Five to four at the Family Center. What an effort by Beaver Dam. We got to take a breath here. Beavers, five to four over the Metro Lynx at the Family Center as this team continues to get better. Their third straight game with five plus goals. Under first year coach Mike Pogorelic, we're coming back with the post game show here on Daily Dodge TV. Are you ready for peace of mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of Eric Care and Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our total care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. Air Care's total care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. Air Care, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their spirit pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. Visit Jerry's Automotive Center WI.com and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Nightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Nightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. At Preferred Dental Partners, our core values are more than just something we put on our wall. They're something we live out. Core value number two is the wow experience. This means that from the moment you walk in the door until the time you leave, we want to provide an experience for our patients that is unlike anything you've had before. There are lots of choices of dentists, and we never want anyone to feel they have to be here. We want them to choose to be here because they feel heard, welcomed, and well cared for. If you want to see what the wow experience is about, call or text Preferred Dental Partners today. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, 
are digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our silica price in real time. These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop Silica for your home for the best sales, service, and selection. The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. The teams at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Back at the Family Center Ice Arena, huge win for the Beaver Dam girls hockey team, 5-4. to four. Hopefully we can talk with head coach Mike Fogarelic in a little bit. Beaver Dam High School girls hockey presented by Columbus Family Dental, hometown glass and improvement in the Beaver Dam Unified School District. One penalty in this game, and that was early on taken by the Metro Lynx, but that didn't matter because they scored at 632 to go up 1-0. Uh, the shorthanded goal by Emma Stebbins who's a fantastic player. That was unassisted for the Metro Lynx. But just uh, less than, what, 90 seconds later, Beavers answered. Allie Stanel uh, was able to uh, deflect a shot from Modine. Hookstra also got an assist at the eight-minute mark. That made it 1-1. Also, uh, in that first period, Beavers came right back 10-06. Uh, it was a fantastic a little two-on-one action. Lillian Mansueto. Finished off a goal off a pass from Emerson Damon. Addie Hookstra got the assist. 2-1 Golden Beavers. Metrolinks came back, though. Sophie Wild from the left side scored with an assist from Stebbins and uh, Kate Sweeney. And uh, just like that, we were at 2-2. But off the faceoff, 10 seconds later, uh, the Golden Beavers score. Addie Damon, unassisted, giving the Beavers that 3-2 lead. Second period, Mansueto from Damon and uh, and Damon, I guess. Addie and Emmer Damon made it 4-2 at 4.59. Metro Lynx came back, though. Scout Elmer, an unassisted goal, uh, made it 4-3 at 8.11, and that's how he went to the third period. Beaver Dam, though, at 108. Uh, Lillian Mansueto came up the near side and went five-hole on Bazell, uh, took the 5-3 lead. Uh, Metro Lynx emptied the net with, like, five minutes left, and it paid off as Stebbins. Scored, getting an assist on the play for the Metro Lynx was Rowan Severson. And the Beavers' defense was able to uh, ride it out. Emily Smiedema made a couple of great saves. She finished with 40 saves on 44 shots tonight, while Addie Bazell had 10 saves on just 15 shots. Huge win for Beaver Dam. Hopefully we can hook up with head coach Mike Pogorelic as the postgame show continues here on Daily Dodge TV. Cheer! Now, cheer louder. Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. The teams at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaver Dam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. 
The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623-5559. Welcome back to the Family Center right now, joined by Beaver Dam High School girls hockey coach Mike Pogarella. Coach, huge win for your program today against one of those established teams, the Metrolinx. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great win. We didn't really have our best, um, but we found a way to just get pucks on net when we needed to. seems like every time something went wrong for us, we came right back and answered and had an answer for it. So, again, it's not, not the prettiest game, but the team's learning how to win, and every time we can kind of gut one of these out at the end, is, is it's good for the program. That's been your M.O., though. You have answered multiple times this year when a team has scored on you, Coach. You've come back and scored you know, within like 90 seconds. Today you had a 10-second uh, answer. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're pretty resilient, and they're starting to believe that they can score goals. And I know we didn't generate a ton of shots today, and we're on the opposite side of that. But I think the, things, the shots we did get were quality. Um, and we were able to find a way to put them in the net. You got sh- outshot 44 to 15 today, so you, uh, you, you sc- that's a 33% clip on shots. I, I think if my math is right, so you'll take that pretty as a good. coach, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, like I said, we, we got some quality looks. We got to clean up some things in our own zone and limit some of those shots, and I think some of them were from the outside, and we did a good job there, but we kind of preached just turning the puck over and taking care of it. Like, we just too many turnovers in bad areas of the ice, so trying to manage that better. Um, we did a little better job early on in the third, and it got away from us when the game got tight. Again, it's just learning how to win. They haven't been in that position a lot, and um, we're trying to figure that out, but we were able to, to make it work. Emily made some huge saves for us. Oh, that, down the stretch, you know, I want to talk about, you know, you mentioned goals. Early on, I know we sat here and we talked, and you mentioned you just needed to get shots on goal. You needed people to go. You scored five in the last three games each. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's coming along, and we work on it a lot in practice and just telling them to shoot the puck. Um, and girls, girls hockey, it's notorious. We just don't shoot. We don't shoot as much as the boys. So trying to get them to, if, you get, if you're going to score, you got to shoot the puck. And trying to do that more. And I, I think, you know, Emerson, um, Addy Damon, and uh, Lillian Mansueto, they love shooting the puck. They love scoring goals. What we're happy with tonight is the assist that Emerson had. Um, we've been preaching to her to move the puck. You know, she's obviously one of our more skilled players and draws a lot of attention. So if she can distribute and make her teammates better, that's going to be good for everybody. So she did a great job with that tonight. And uh, I thought her sister, not taking anything away from uh, the hat trick that Mansueto had, but I thought Addie Damon played an excellent game and uh, was in the play a lot and was able to score a goal. And you can tell that Damon and Mansueto played a lot of hockey together too because they do have a chemistry on that line, don't they? They do. They do. They played a lot of hockey together. They find a way to, you know, to locate each other on the ice and trying to compl- complement that with Addie Damon. And um, they're doing a really good job, and I think they're getting better every time we play. You know that Brian and, and Stebbett's uh – kind of combo there's one of the best in the state when it comes to scoring and just you know down the stretch you know Stebbins got free I think in the slot and made it 5-4 but but I mean the fact that you know Emily stood tall and your D stood tall down the stretch and didn't fold up was had to be huge for the confidence of your D. Yeah Emma's a great player um, you know we we preached kind of going through her hands and getting a body on her we did a great job for I think 90 percent of the game and then you know towards the end she was able to just kind of take care of the puck and we were kind of fishing for it a little bit but um, that's a compliment to her skill. Um, but, yeah, Emily stood tall and was able to uh, make some key saves for us down the stretch. And, you know, we, we lean on her pretty hard, but we're starting to score goals for her too. She'll be honest with you, her first period was not the best, um, but was able to regroup and refocus. And um, we had her back, and then at the end she had ours. So that's all we can ask for. Coach Mike Pogorelic, I appreciate the time. Congratulations, a yeah, 5-4 you. win on, on the Metro Lynx. You know, that's a team when people are going to see this score, that's a team that people know across the state. Yeah, you know, I told the girls upstairs, you know, we've got two kids that aren't from Beaver Dam, um, and we go up, up against some of these programs that have 12, 13, 14 schools in some of these bigger communities, and it just really says a lot about their effort, the program, the youth program, and 
that we're able to compete in these games, and uh, I think there's a lot of good things to come from well, this group. Congratulations. I think we'll see you a week from tonight with uh, the uh, Icebergs coming to town. All right, sounds good. I appreciate it. Beaver Dam wins 5-4. We're going to take one more quick break, come back and wrap things up here on Daily Dodge TV. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623-5559. Hi, this is Sandy from McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam. We are proud to support all Beaver Dam athletes. While at home watching high school sports, why not be comfortable? McKinstry's is a Lazy Boy comfort studio. We have sofas, recliners, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Stop into McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam and add comfort.